Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn about field rules in Zoho Creator to set default values, disable and enable fields in a form. Have you ever come across scenarios where data needs to be entered repeatedly or when a specific field carries a default value? Let me state a few instances so that you don't need to rack your brain on this. These can be when an event registration form needs to specify a fixed entry fee for the participants to pay or when a default answer needs to be set for any question in a survey form or when the quantity fee needs to be set beforehand by placing an order. Imagine the amount of time being wasted when this has to be done every time the form is opened. Definitely tedious, right? It is for such use cases that Zoho Creator has come up with form workflows where you can set values with field rules. Wait, what if you set a default value but you don't want the user to change it? Imagine the user changing the registration fee as per their will. How will you restrict that? Or, what if you later want the user to have the liberty to change the default value? Like in the case of survey form, where customers can change the default answer given in the form. Besides the capability to set a default value, Zoho Creator also allows you to disable or enable a field for better user engagement. All the three activities are part of the form event, Field Rules. Let's get into each concept here. Set a field value helps you to pre-populate a value in a field when the form loads. Let's take the example of an event management application to understand this better. The screen you see here is a sample registration form for an upcoming workshop. Whenever the form loads, the user should be able to see the fee being charged to register for the event. For this, go to the editor and select the workflow section. By default, Zoho Creator shows the list of form workflows that you have configured till now as the section opens. Let's click the new workflow button to configure a workflow for our requirements. On the new screen that appears, choose the form in which you want to trigger the workflow. Let's choose workshop registration form. We need the workflow to be triggered every time a record is created as well as edited. So let's select that. Based on the chosen record event, you will find all the form events that can be executed in the form. For our current requirement, we need to choose Field Rules. Give a name to the workflow and click Create Workflow. Now that the workflow is created, let's add actions to execute. Since we want the registration fee to appear every time, let's select Always. In case you want the field to be pre-populated based on a specific criteria, you can do it accordingly. Select Set a Field Value and specify the field you want to auto-populate. Here, let's keep registration fee to be $50. Let's access the application and see the result. Here, when the form loads, you can see the set value on the registration field. Next, let's see how to configure Disable field. With the Disable field option, you can disable any field in the form. Users can only view and the access to make any change is denied. Let's take the same scenario that we discussed earlier to see how it's done. We have already set a default value for registration fee. Our requirement is to disable this field so that users won't be able to edit. To do this, let's go ahead and select this form from the workflow section. Now, let's configure the action in the earlier workflow since both the actions take place in the same form and the record and form events associated with both are same. Click Add New Action. Let's choose the Always option as we need the field to be disabled every time. To selectively disable the field, you can choose On Condition and do it likewise. Now, choose Disable Fields and select the field you wish to disable. Let's choose Registration Fee and Save. If you remember, we had named the workflow as Populate Fee. Since the additional action is not specified in the name, let's rename the workflow. To rename, go to the workflow properties and give a name of your choice. Let's rename it as Populate and Disable Fee. You can also see the record and form events based on which this workflow is configured. Now, let's access the application and see how these workflows take action. As you can see, the registration fee field which has a default value can't be edited now. Now that we are through with these two actions, let's see how to enable an action. We know that by default, whenever a form loads, all forms are enabled to add a value. So, what is the purpose of an enable field action? 
Enable field action comes into use especially when you need to selectively enable a field when a criteria is met. Let's take the case of the question related to suggestions being asked in the form here. We can set it in such a way that suggestions field will be available only when the user answers yes to the previous question. To execute this action, let's go to the workflow section in the editor and select the workshop registration form. Let's repeat the same process as earlier since we are configuring in the same form and the record and form event requirements are the same. Let's add a new action. Choose always if you want the action to execute always. Here, let's choose on condition since this field needs to be enabled only when the answer to the previous question related to suggestion is yes. So let's keep that. Now, choose enable fields and select the field that needs to be enabled. Choose suggestions and save. You can once again rename the workflow if required. Go to the workflow properties and make the changes. Let's access the application. Now, when you choose yes, the suggestion box can be edited. Otherwise, it's inaccessible as you can see. In this way, values can be set, fields can be disabled as well as enabled based on your requirements. Hope this video helped you to learn to configure these three field rules available in form workflows. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.